so Serena Williams is going viral over you know face related situations and I just think that there is a major overreaction going on right now and let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you haven't subscribed guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, one pound a month. A shout out for all the new people coming through. My podcast, the new podcast episode is out and my merch as well guys. I'm not involved, I'm only here to address it. So let's get straight into this. So long story short, Serena Williams posted something on her Instagram, uh, a picture of herself sitting down and of course her face looked you know, unusual. Did not look like who she normally is, and it did look like either, you know, she could be bleaching, either it was just a bad hair day, either a bad makeup day, and whoever willingly said it was okay, or a PR team working with her that said it was okay for you to put this on your Instagram profile, they themselves were also, you know, held accountable as well as Serena sometimes we have bad days here and there we post stuff and we are quite lost in translation for how we come across sometimes and things just go up and things just can go wrong I believe the picture has now come down but a lot of people online are scrutinizing it and I just feel like we're so quick to scrutinize we're so quick to overreact in situations very similar to the Jesse Nelson little mix stuff that you know we need to just take a step back it's not everyday scrutinize and everyday you know, react in such a harsh manner. A lot of people are comparing it to Marlon um, um, Wayans. Um, they said he put Sammy Sosa cream on um, Serena Williams. Um, what the F happened to Serena's face? Um, the backlash against Serena Williams for that photo is a bit too aggressive for me. Almost like they were waiting till it was okay to drag her for her looks again, like she's been subjected to for the last 20 years. It's sick. She had a bad makeup photo day, leave her alone. And there obviously are plenty of pictures of her a couple of days beforehand where she looks absolutely fine. So the idea of bleaching is just void, null, and doesn't exist. So I feel like, you know, there's a lot of these, you know, conversations happening that are just really OTT on her. Serena Williams can't even have a bad hair makeup day in peace that everyone starts posting her and scrutinizing her looks. Leave her and black women in general alone. Now notice this situation happened two days ago. Sometimes I speak on matters that are viral ASAP. Sometimes I take a while because I really want to condense what people are talking about and how these conversations can be can be very toxic uh, because what do you gain out of doing it? Um, you know they're calling her Marla Wines, they're calling her the two white chicks Someone said, I want to see the person who did Serena Williams makeup for this photo. They got my sis out here looking like Sean and Marlon Wyans. Got a light skin friend that looks like Serena Williams. Got a dark skin friend that looks like Serena Williams. Um, yeah, they're putting it on the cover of White Chicks on, on you know, covering it with other, they are roasting her like nobody. And I just feel that the discourse of this conversation is not conducive. It's not productive. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just, something that is you know again i understand it's the power of the course you post a person posts a bad picture people are going to get roasted and oftentimes it's probably not that serious but i also feel like it's just a huge overreaction on somebody in a sport who is continuously marginalized continuously put into a corner continuously berated you know there are times where we have several people like maria sharapova who would break a tennis racket but serena did the same thing and you know it's a whole different story and it's just very unfair i thoroughly believe it's just very unfair and i just feel like um the, the conversations like this they don't do anything and i feel like it's just you know a branch of a form of cancellation culture where a lot of people just do it because they want to get the most tweets when they you know that type of language still exists and it's still pretty strong and it's only getting stronger and i just feel like yeah she's going viral over it but i just evidently the girl is not bleaching it's just a bad hair makeup day and i feel like people should just give it a rest and relax with the tweets. Let me know where your thoughts are. What are your thoughts? I'm keen to read what everybody's thoughts are on this matter. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys, for daily and consistent content. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.